Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Nutrinode, which is part of my shebang modules for VCV Rack. Now, uh, if you caught the uh, my video on Cosmosis, then you'll find that a lot of the uh, stuff is very similar, and you can see their their interfaces are very similar. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of skim some of that stuff, um, and a lot of it's probably self-explanatory anyway, but, um, one thing that I forgot to mention in, uh, about Cosmosis is whenever you're adding stars, um, you can click to add them, uh, here in Neutronode, um, you could, you could just drag them off the screen and if you want to delete them instead of having to hit like the clear button. Um, anyway, so uh, Neutrinode, uh, we have a lot of the same um, buttons here. Um, we actually have a BPM now, and that's uh, ma mainly because it's based on um, their, these little, these nodes send out pulses to their connected stars or whatever you want to call them, notes. And the BPM basically tells it how fast to travel. And um, we have, uh, the output is a little different. We have all outputs. Also, I'm um, poly mode, right, in, uh, or polyphonic mode. I'm in, I have 16 channels right now um, and you know volts triggers but you can also just use if you want to route them differently like if I want the purple one to go to different sounds and the blue one to go to different sounds you you can do that as well or just use one node um, you could do that because you could turn them on and off here um, so if you wanted them to go away and just use one uh, you could do that also, we got the size and position, which is where the uh, the output takes its uh, pitch interpretation. Um, now, the other interesting things here is that, like, the nodes can actually move and animate around um, the screen here. So I'll hit play. <laughs> find a position you like you can uh, tell them to stop moving um, so the cool thing about this that I like at least is you can uh, you know have a, some sort of um, you know unique rhythm or or time um, you know fraction of a second kind of rhythm and uh, or almost like a texture and you hit move and then the texture slowly evolves into something else and then you can you can hit the button again and then freeze that texture um, and uh, it has a an internal or external input as well so you could do that from some trigger from another source and you have the speed of how fast they move here so if you want them to bounce around more So let's slow it down. Grab them and move them where you want. Let's do size. Now sometimes though, if you're using too many um there, there is a possibility to go over the number of polyphonic channels you have. Um, so 
you know, you have to be careful, um, you know, depending on how much, how, how slow your release is in your envelope. And um, so if, if you start to hear uh, like voice stealing or, or in other words, uh, some pitches are kind of being interrupted, uh, like you probably just noticed it just then, then I, I either need to change my envelope speed or, uh, you know, take away some of these, these stars here. Um, or use just one node, but that is a possibility, so be careful. Um, uh, what else is I going to do? I'm going to cut this. Um, what do I want to talk about? Oh, another <clears throat> thing about movement is in the right-click menu here, you can turn collisions on or off. By default, I'm pretty sure they're on. So I'll turn them off and, and just means these nodes will overlap each other. But again, the cool thing about this is like sometimes uh, you can see like some of these nodes will detach whenever the stars get too far away from them. And so it's like they're kind of going around and, and discovering new pitches as they move around the screen. And let's just listen to like maybe two of them you can do that. And I'll do, uh, let's have them do the same octave. Let's look at the collision. With Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. Let's listen to just just for fun. Um, one of them kind of traversing all of these dots here. Oh yeah, there's the maximum number of dots I can add. Speed up the BPM. One more tip here, um, if you find that you're getting like audio glitches or like, you know, frame rates are dropping out or whatever, you, you can slow the frame rate down since this is animated, um, you know, you could do all the way down if you'd like, if, if you're, um, you know, not interested in, in the visual aspect of it, um, you know, if, if you're not displaying it to anyone, but it'll still act, it'll still operate at the uh, sample rate. Just the animations will be kind of jerky. So no worries there. Okay. That's about it for Nutrinode. Uh, have fun and um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.